Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Bikana. If you're new here, I create lifestyle, travel, and real estate vlogs. So today I have a question and answer video as you can see by the title. It's about living in Jamaica and I've had these questions for um, at least almost six months now. So I'm finally getting the chance to sit down, compile the questions and answer them here. Um, it's about 15 to 20 questions so let's jump right into it. The first question was, was it worth leaving the States to move back to Jamaica financially and emotionally? Also, what's your final thoughts for those thinking about coming back after many years and no family ties to the island? So to answer that, I do think it was worth it financially and mentally, especially mentally. Financially was a little bit of a challenge, but it's definitely not impossible. Um, you just always have to have a plan, but mentally, it, I felt great. I felt right at home, exactly where I am meant to be, where I, where I was needed, not only for like, even to help my grandparents whenever they needed it, but for myself, for me, for Bikana. So yes, I definitely think it was worth it. Um, my final thoughts for those thinking about coming back after many years and no family ties to the island is to just do your research. If you've never been to Jamaica, I highly recommend you visit, especially if you have no family there. Go and visit, see if this is where you really want to be. Um, and I always think it's important to go back to your roots. So make sure you have your plan, make sure you go and visit, make sure you save up, you know, just have an idea of what you're going to do and create a long-term plan, a long-term goal. The second question is, do you think Jamaica is where you want to raise a family when that milestone comes in life? Or would you want to raise a family outside of JA, not necessarily America, but anywhere? I definitely think I would want to raise my family in Jamaica only because I liked how my lifestyle was. You know, sometimes when people have them kids in America or have them kids wherever they have them kids and send their kids back to where they're from, I would do that. I, I literally would want my child to be raised with the same culture around the same type of familiarities that I am used to. Um, yeah, so I definitely, I, I would raise my family in Jamaica. I would. <laughs> What is it really like living on an island and what are some of the reasons you prefer Jamaica instead of New York? Um, island life, it's different for me than it would be for someone else. Like I can't speak for person A who lives in, let's say, Barbican, and I can't speak for person B who lives in Negril and person C who lives in Trelawney. And Jamaica is like very different. It's a very diverse country. You have your cities and you have your your um, more rural areas. So island life, it's pretty warm. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I prefer it over New York. It's warm and I like being around things that I'm familiar with. So yeah. Does the crime rate bother you or make you worried? Have you gotten used to the curfew? Well, speaking of curfew, by the time I'm like filming this video, answering these questions, curfew has raised to 12 a.m. 12 a.m. Would it be considered 12? Yeah, 12 a.m. guys. So curfew in Jamaica is not like what it was. I was not used to no six o'clock. Remember when we had three o'clock curfew? We had three o'clock curfew. We had five o'clock curfew. We had... Six o'clock, we had seven, eight. I don't think we've had no nine o'clock curfew. We had 10 o'clock curfew, and now it's 12 a.m. Wow, people just happy. Hallelujah, praise be. Um, so yeah, we definitely get used to it after a while. Um, sometimes you follow curfew, sometimes you don't. That's life. <laughs> um, 
does the crime rate bother you or make you worried it does bother me in the sense that innocent people are getting hurt and i could be one of those people that do get hurt just minding my own business because some people are just minding their own business and get shot some people are minding their own business and get kidnapped and just get slashed up and all these things um so it is incredibly worrying it's very sad i really really wish the government would at least show that they're doing more if you are doing more at least you know um make people feel like you're doing more because at this stage it, it just doesn't feel like the police are really doing much of anything because you hear one thing and then you see one thing you know you, you just don't really see any action being taken you don't see perpetrators getting caught like i've barely seen anyone get caught for the kidnappings or the killings of women all across the island i've barely seen you barely hear breaking news such and such caught for whatever whatever it's either them done kill themselves already or they were just there at the crime scene you know so and even the gunman them you, yes they're doing stuff to to um to collect the guns and then I capture one and two man but it I feel like more needs to be done so it does worry me it does worry me it does bother me I should say both I guess both yeah if that makes sense um what advice do you have for someone looking to move back to Jamaica and is currently living abroad but would like to reestablish themselves prior to their arrival lease rental purchase use of a realtor uh, I would advise you to do your research look at the market whether it be about lease rental like th all these real estate pages like Century 21 Remax Coldwell we all have websites so when people keep asking oh what is that -da and what is that -da -da? like we have the internet guys we have the internet. People, I feel like, just don't do their research as much as they should. You can go on even, not even the, the um, main um, real estate companies, but you can go on the Gleaner online and see what a one bedroom, like if you want to share a room, is renting for in Dwenny Park. You can see those things and you can budget accordingly. So I feel like you should budget, you should plan, and not just some like one month plan. You should have like a breakdown of plan. If you want to rent um, or purchase, make sure you have the appropriate documents before you, you get to Jamaica. A lot of these things you can apply for online. You can apply for your TRN online. Make sure you um, apply for a pre-approval letter. There's a lot of things that you can do and that you can find online before you head to Jamaica. So I'd always recommend to just do your research. Go to Google and type the question that you want and I'm sure you'll find the answer. Living in the USA would love for move back home. Oh, this was just a comment. Um, how should a returning resident purchase property? Is there any in-between rates for Jamaican born residents most rates are in the USD most rates are in the USD because they're being sold by people who control what they want to sell their house for so it's not a matter of you know being Jamaican or not being Jamaican some people want to quote in USD because the Jamaican dollar at the moment is very unstable and it's 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 um it's re it's reducing if that makes sense so people want to have something that's a medium so next week it's not gonna drop and they're selling their house for less than what they want to sell their house for or rent their property for what they want to less it um, rent it for less than what they wanted for so that's why do I agree with it not really because you live in Jamaica but since Jamaica is tied to the US dollar it kind of plays a factor in you know what people want for their property um yeah, if you want to talk about purchasing property, you can definitely send me an email at b.brown at century21jm.com. Um, my email is down below. If you want, send information to my real estate email, not to my YouTube email. They're right next to each other and there's a difference. I state the difference as one being for YouTube and one being for real estate. So if you want more information, then do that. I definitely plan on filming a video um, about how to buy property, how to buy land, how to sell land, um, how to buy a house, how to sell a house, how to rent, 
you know, all that extra stuff. So look out for that video. But in the meantime, I do try to get back to everybody that emails me. So feel free to send me an email to the appropriate email. And that's in the description box. The next question is, how should an American person prepare before coming to Jamaica in 2022? So, um, I'm not really sure if you're just like American, no family member is Jamaica and you don't know anybody. I would recommend you find an embassy, a Jamaican embassy, and find out the appropriate information there. Um, I am a dual citizen, so I can only speak for me. I never had to go through some of the things that some people had to go through. Um, you can check out Anisha's videos and Sasha's videos, like their earlier videos, because then it talked about, you know, getting your Jamaican passport and getting your Jamaican citizenship. Um, but for me, I didn't have to do any of those. Like, I literally just picked myself up and I left. I did not have to explain to anybody why I was there. I did not have to apply for any working visa or working permit. Um, so I would recommend one, most importantly, go on to an embassy website. Go on to an embassy website and find out information because there's always information when you look for it online. And then if you want to go to Anisha or go to Sasha's videos, definitely check them out because they have more appropriate information for you. Was it worth moving? What is one reason why you would not consider moving back to America? Funny, this question aged very well. <laughs> um, yes, it was definitely worth moving, 100% worth moving to me. Um, one reason why I would consider not moving back to America, I just don't like living here. That's my one and only reason. I just don't like living here. But the reasons why I did consider coming back is because one, I want to travel more, and for me, it's more accessible for, for myself to do that in America. I want to make more money. It is more accessible for me to do that in America. Um, yeah, so those are my only two, literally only two reasons. But if I had unlimited amounts of income, if I had um, the Jamaican passport, you can go to a lot of countries without applying for a visa. But if I had that, then I would leave from Jamaica easily, like literally. It, it, would, it wouldn't be a question. But um, I do consider it 100% worth it moving. Like nobody's going to convince me otherwise. At all, at all, at all. Keep your negative Nancy comments to yourself. Nobody can convince me otherwise. It is 100% worth it for me, my opinion. Is there anything you would have done differently? Yes, I definitely want to get my master's. Um, what I want to get it in, I'm not 100% sure. I don't have that figured out yet. Um, I wish I had more money. It's always a matter of money. Like I'm making money from my YouTube, making money from the taxis, but like, you know, I kind of leave that money to the side. I do want to invest in the future. Um, so I just, I just wish I had a lot more money <laughs> and that's always everybody's problem and is there anything you would have done differently yeah that's that's just really it have more um because some people message me and talk about they want to move back and that they only have a high school um diploma so I'm just like sis step back wait a minute hold up it's not enough high school is not enough um, it's different if you do your high school in um, Jamaica and you have, you know, all your, what is it, CXCs and um, all your subjects, all your subjects. Um, and that's different because then you can find jobs because they ask for all these things. But just your high school di diploma from UK or from US is not enough in Jamaica. I can get by with my degree. Um... I can get by with my degree, but I would definitely want to have my master's as well. So yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure life out. I'm not perfect. I'm still young. I have no kids. I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> um, do you regret the move 100%? No, I do not. Nope. Do you think a black American person such as myself could move to Jamaica and do well, be accepted by the people, build a good life? I think you could 100%. Um, I keep on saying this. You just have to plan. You have to save. 
um, you, you just have to know what you're going to do, know, know what you have, visit, 100% visit. You can't go and live to a place or live in a place that you've never been to. You have to be comfortable with things being different, the culture, the food, the way of life, the way people went and talk to you. Um, you have to accept that other culture in order to move to another country. You can't say, okay, I'm not Japanese and I would like to go live in Japan, but I can't stand sushi and I can't stand um, bowing and I can't stand, you can't do that. You're not gonna like it, you're not gonna fit in, you're not gonna, it's not gonna make sense. You get me? So if you know that you are a person who is accepting of other cultures, then I feel like you would do great. There's a lot of people in Jamaica who have videos um, on YouTube who are from like Eastern Europe that do well here because they're accepting individuals. They're not judgmental, you know? So you have to be that kind of person. Um, and then people will accept you. Once you accept our culture, and this is all over the world, once you accept our culture, people will accept you back. Um, yeah, you can definitely build a good life and that's wherever in the world. How has COVID changed Jamaica? <sighs> it's changed a lot in a sense where like regular life isn't as regular as it used to be. So even during the deep, deep parts of COVID, um, at least the deep, deep parts of the pandemic, you couldn't really go out like how you used to. You have to come home early. Um, you can't really be in a group. Even with funerals and weddings, it could be an unlimited amount of people. Now it's restrained. Um, so you can't even grieve how you want to. You can't grieve with the people that you want to grieve with because you have to pick and choose who gets to go to a funeral, who gets to go to a wedding. Um, what else? Uh, even being in the stores. I feel like this has affected a lot of other countries, obviously, obviously. But even wearing masks, I feel so bad for kids now because they go out and they're seeing like half a person's face that's not normal like how is that affecting kids development and with the schools in jamaica the online learning these kids i feel for them because the online learning is really going to affect them and i'm not even thinking about the now but covid and the pandemic has changed so many places including jamaica and we're still yet to see how it's going to play out how it's going to affect society so it has affected us in many ways that to this point I, I can't really tell you because we're still being affected by it, you know? Um doo -doo -doo -doo. would you say it's been easy since you moved back? Um no, I feel like it's relatively been the same. I'm not sure what this person meant by easy, but I felt more at home, I felt more accepted, I felt better mentally. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's the same and same. I just feel like the reasons why I went back, um, is different than a lot of other people's reasons. Everybody have their own reason as to why they want to go back home, wherever home is. So yeah. Which parish do you enjoy the most? I feel like I enjoy, um, I don't know. It's kind of different because every parish, I'm not going to be one of those people that said Portland or said Westmoreland. Or even say Kingston um, because I feel like every parish have um, their differences like obviously I enjoy Kingston the most for the accessible things that it can give me versus all the other parishes in the island um, I enjoy Portland for it being so serene and peaceful and feel like I'm literally in a tropical vibe like I'm still in a tropical island but when I get to Portland, I feel like I'm in a tropical island. Like, Portland is a tropical island, if that makes sense. Um, Westmoreland, um, Westmoreland gives me that laid-back, summertime, family vibe. And then being in St. Catherine, it just feels... I feel at home. That's where my home is, <laughs> in St. Catherine. Um, Trelawney, I also feel at home because, again, that is where my home is as well. I feel more family-oriented. I feel like I'm with 
the people that I love the most I feel safe there that anything can happen and you know I'm good so it's like weird because every parish have a different feeling I can't really say oh which parish do I enjoy the most because they all give me a different feeling that I enjoy um our territory tertiary damn <laughs> or tertiary industry jobs like banking tech law oil and gas etc common and well paying um i wouldn't necessarily say common and well paying because i do hear people from these industries complaining about their pay uh is it common i feel like if you go the route if you get you know the proper qualifications then it's easy to get a job in the sense where if you have links because you make a runoff links network um then you'll be good is it well paying compared to western countries no um and that's just what i've heard from other people what is a good salary in usd to live comfortably in jamaica i'd probably say like two thousand three thousand usd per month is fine and that's even for most places that's that i would say that's fine for buffalo as well i would say that's fine for places that have like a low low cost for living um jamaica is definitely a higher cost for living country but you can find more stuff like groceries wouldn't be as expensive bills wouldn't be as expensive so i feel like you could be fine i know people who have like 200 300 thousand dollars salary jmd in jamaica per month and they're living fine granted who doesn't want more money who doesn't want more money i feel like yeah who does not want more money and comfortable to me might be comfortable to someone else the next questions how is the infrastructure power supply water road net roads in jamaica need help the civil engineers i don't know what you guys are doing but y'all are doing jamaica dirty i'm just saying it facts is facts it rains all the time in england and minnesota cracky cracky road new york though new york has some terrible roads terrible terrible roads and that's because of the snow so jamaica please tell me hurricanes happen like what four or five months out of the year and we barely get storms because them always and that's jamaica jamaica play dandy dandy shandy with the hurricane them what's going on with the roads so roads in jamaica are not the best there's some roads throughout the islands though that are amazing 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 and if you look at the history who built them i just feel like jamaicans need to do better for jamaica um water is fine it's actually sad though because some rural areas don't have running water via pipes they have to get water from water trucks i've never experienced it um but i have heard it i've have i have heard people complain um on the radio about it so i know it's affecting people um and it's really sad but overall water in jamaica is fine every now and then like especially in portmore sometimes where i used to live in bridgeview water would go go finito gone um but they always tried to put out a notice and i had a group chat from my community at the time and they let us know like you know expect water to be gone from 8 a.m to 1 p.m tomorrow so it's not the best but it does happen power supply power would only go out if something happened to one of the um what i call the transformers so if something happened then power is gonna go but it wasn't something that happened all the time um at least not now the next question since your mom is building a house in trelawney will you be staying more in country a hundred percent yes when that ground floor is done when that ground floor is done girl i will be there i will be there um, and plus where I am in Trelawney, we don't really have the best internet connection. Like there literally is no internet, um, for the one and two companies that are trying to bring internet there now, there's like probably 10 houses and that's me being generous, probably 10 houses that have Wi-Fi in my community in Trelawney. So the companies now are trying their best to roll out um wi-fi to these rural areas so trust me and when we get wi-fi don't chat to me and um the solar water heater because that's what i have in portmore do not talk to me <laughs> don't chat to me no but um to answer your question yes i'll be in country more most definitely 
what was your most memorable moment this year in Jamaica? And that was for 2021. God, I don't even know. There's so many things that happen. <sighs> I'm just glad to be alive. Like, there's so many memorable moments. Even now, flashing through my head, there's so many memorable moments. Like, I've enjoyed myself with... Um, Chad, I've enjoyed myself with Kai. I've enjoyed myself with Sashana, with Malik. I've enjoyed myself with my grandparents, um, my other cousin, with Anisha. Um, the times that I did see Peter Gay and Chin, even though that was more, yeah, that was like more 2020. But I've enjoyed myself. I had so much memorable moments. Like you, and if I didn't bring up your name, like there's so much memorable moments. There's so, 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 so much. I can't even, I couldn't even pick one if I wanted to. Like I, I literally can't. It, it just, if you know, you know. Do you think you need to be down to earth to live in Jamaica? I do believe so. I do believe so and my perception of the down-to-earth part of this comment is you have to be understanding and you have to be able to accept another culture versus where you're from even if you're moving from the UK or if you're moving from somewhere in um, somewhere else in like Europe or somewhere from Africa or somewhere from Australia shoot if you're coming from Antarctica you have to be acceptable you have to be um accepting of another person's culture you cannot just go to another country and expect things to change for you it won't if it's not changing for the people it's not going to change for you um so yes i do think you need to be down to earth you need to be a kind person you can't be coming here grumpy grumpy people and jamaicans because jamaicans will tell you as it is somebody will cuss you out and you're gonna feel bad and they are gonna run and say some bad things about the place when no you just you have to understand that this is how it is um yeah be a kind person understanding person you will be fine girl do a video about getting a car the difference between us driving in um, US driving and JA driving. Sasha Antonia did a video about um, getting a car and I believe Anisha has a video about getting a car. I am going to do a video about getting taxi and road license. I 100% promise you I'm so sorry it hasn't come yet. I literally have not. I will never forget about it and I keep bringing it up but um driving in the u.s and driving in jamaica i realized places like new york city and um even fort lauderdale they have a high population of um caribbean people people from even africa and we drive bad we we drive bad but we drive safe so it's you're gonna be fine you're not gonna die but we drive pretty bad and rough so i feel like if you're used to those places then you'll be fine in Jamaica. You just have to get used to the left side of the road and the right side of the road. Um, so in Jamaica, it's the left side. In America, it's the right. You have to know that. Don't come to Jamaica and rent a car and, and not have that in your head because then you'll get into an accident. And all you're going to hear on the radio is foreigner comes and crash in Jamaica. Please be safe. Um, yeah. What has been the hardest thing to adjust to living in Jamaica? Don't really have nothing hard enough. Don't really have nothing hard to say. It wasn't really like, I, I feel right at home. I didn't really have to adjust to anything. The only thing I probably don't like is that rural areas don't have that much accessible things. Um, and yeah, that's it. Like internet, even some of the government offices, you have to go way and beyond two towns over to get to, um, not even two towns over, what am I even saying? 15 to 20 towns over to get to um a government office and even then if you get to a major town you still have to go to another major town to get to a government office that you might need to get to i don't like that and that does take adjusting but other than that like i didn't really have to adjust to anything i think i'm pretty good you know how has overall happiness improved tremendously like tremendously especially to the people that i'm around when i have people that make me feel good I, I just you know I'm good I have people in the states that make me feel good but I like my happiness in Jamaica is tenfold tenfold how long can I stay in Jamaica if I'm moving from the US again that's a um, question for a government website you can definitely google these things and I'm sure a dot gov dot edu 
one of those places, most preferably a .gov or .jm, no, .gov would be the best place because I cannot tell you, um, I will not give you no wrong answers, like I said earlier, I didn't have to go through some of the things that some people who are US only citizens, Canadian only citizens, UK only citizens had to go through. So please do your research, go onto a government website and try to find the answer. Send some emails to government people or websites that um, aim to help you get a visa, an embassy. Those are the places that you should be asking these questions to, not me. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the video and I want to thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and don't feel no way like... I will be in Jamaica sooner than you think. And I keep reiterating that. Um, America really is not for me. I'm just a try, a try thing. You know, in a 2022, I'm just a try. But I'm... Mm, <laughs> I don't know. I don't like it here. I'm actually... I'm not happy here. I don't like it here. But I know what I have to do. And I'm trying to figure it out. So please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any responses, any comments at all regarding today's topic about living in Jamaica, how it has affected you, then please drop some responses down below. I truly appreciate it. Please like this video, share the video, and stay tuned for more. And I'll see you next video. Bye.